Story recapped here. Today, I'm going to explain a comedy, horror, and sci-fi film called The Sand. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. During a party at the beach, Mitch encourages his fellow spring breakers to put their phone in a bag to avoid having their pictures or videos posted online. Meanwhile, Vance and Gilbert find a huge ball covered in a gooey substance and decide to play it on the sand. Then the party continues, and Vance draws a dirty symbol on Gilbert's cheek while he sleeps. The next day, Kaylee wakes up with Mitch inside the lifeguard shack. Meanwhile, her boyfriend Jonah wakes up next to Shanda inside a car. Then, Vance and his girlfriend, Ronnie, sit in the back of the vehicle and it isn't long before they awaken too. After that, Shanda repeatedly calls sleeping Marsha and tells her she's not wearing her bikini top. However, Marsha doesn't really mind her and starts throwing up. On the other hand, Kaylee sees a bird stuck in the sand before it gets pulled under. So, she immediately tries to stop Marsha from stepping on the sand but it's already too late. Marsha says she's stuck and she starts crying and screaming when she touches the sand with her hands. Realizing something is wrong, Vance attempts to help Marsha as she sinks and jumps on the sand, but he just falls face down. At the same time, all their friends start to panic while Vance screams he's in pain. Jonah then tries to help his friend, but Shanda stops him and instructs him to start the car. Meanwhile, Mitch throws a rescue buoy at Vance, but the sand has already started eating his face off. All Vance's friends can do is watch in horror as he sinks into the sand, so they try to figure out what just happened. Unfortunately, despite having different theories, they can't call anyone for help because their phones are in the trunk. So they try to come up with a plan, which involves Jonah driving the car over to the lifeguard shack so they can all leave. However, the vehicle won't start and they realize its battery is dead. Trying to understand their situation better, Kaylee places her hand just a few inches above the sand and sees something that resembles fibers trying to reach her. Meanwhile, Gilbert wakes up stuck in a waste container and demands they help him. Gilbert is mad and tries to free himself but his friends inform him there's something in the sand and Vance and Marsha are dead. However, Gilbert feels uncomfortable being stuck in the trash can, but all he can do is listen to Mitch as he tells him to wait. On the other hand, Shanda notices Jonah looking at Kaylee and tells him to let her go. They all remain unaware that whatever's hiding in the sand is trying to get into the car. Then, a few hours pass by and the group starts to feel hopeless. Meanwhile, Kaylee searches the shack for anything to help them and finds some matches. Moments later, Kaylee asks Mitch what happened the previous night, so he says they just had a few drinks and talked. However, Kaylee is talking about the sand and not the two of them, but Mitch can't answer her question. Then, Mitch finds some sunblock which Kaylee immediately gives to their friends. After that, Kaylee talks about the previous night's happenings, and that's when they realize that all their schoolmates are gone. Because of that, Gilbert becomes upset and tries to free himself again, but Jonah tells him to stop and calm down. However, Gilbert says he's burning, so Jonah tosses him the sunblock to help with the heat. Meanwhile, Kaylee notices that the large ball from the previous night is cracked, as if it hatched. So, they all start to think that it's an egg, and whatever came out of it is now under the sand. Then, Kaylee throws food on the sand to see how big the creature is, but it just remains hidden as it eats. On the other hand, Gilbert witnesses the sand devour a bird, making him regret his decision to come to that beach. Seconds later, Kaylee instructs Mitch to throw the food to the other side of the beach, but nothing happens. So, they conclude that the creature can't reach that far, thinking they now have a chance to escape. However, Shanda says it's too dangerous and just wants to wait for help in the car, but Ronnie points out that no one will come for them because it's spring break. At the same time, Ronnie tells them that no one has come to that beach for hours, making Shanda realize she's right. However, Jonah refuses just to sit around and uses two surfboards to create a bridge to reach the table Marsha slept on. Then, while doing so, Jonah tells Kaylee they need to talk. Unfortunately, Kaylee is upset about him being with Shanda, but Jonah assumes she had a fun night with Mitch. Jonah and Mitch get into an argument because of that, but Mitch eventually chooses to walk away. Jonah reaches the table a few seconds later, but he almost slips when his board shifts. He then holds onto the table while still trying to stand on the surfboard, but the creature slashes his abdomen. So Jonah leaps on top of the table and tries to tend to his wounds, almost passing out. After that, Jonah drops a banana and quickly picks it up, making him realize the creature won't go near the ashes of the bonfire. Because of that, Jonah steps on the ashes and concludes that the mysterious creature hates fire. Unfortunately, Jonah's wounds start to worsen. He then throws up and returns to the table as Kaylee instructs him to check what's in the bag and he starts tossing his friends something to drink. However, Mitch fails to catch the can of soda and almost breaks the railing, 
and to make things worse, blood spurts out of Jonah's wounds as if something's trying to come out of them. Then, Jonah lies on the table to get some rest while the creature moves the surfboards away. At the same time, the creature renders the car's tire flat, forcing Shanda and Ronnie to finally do something. Shanda assists Ronnie as she tries to open the trunk with the keys, making sure to hold her hands as she stands on the bumper. Meanwhile, Kaylee checks on Gilbert and Jonah, who are both not doing well. Then, Ronnie finally opens the trunk to get their phones, only to slip in the end. Because the trunk swings really wide when someone opens it, it means Ronnie's not going to have anywhere to put her feet. At the same time, she can't lean back because she'll fall. So, Shanda makes Ronnie hold onto a towel as she opens the trunk again, but she still fails. Meanwhile, Mitch and Kaylee hand Ronnie the rescue hook to hold onto, but she slips again when an oncoming vehicle honks its horn and her fingers get crushed under the trunk. On the other hand, the patrolman driving the vehicle, Alex, sees Haley and her friends, telling them the beach is closed. So Haley tells him to call for help because there's something alive in the sand that kills. At the same time, Gilbert, who is bleeding because of the waste container, tells Alex to call the National Guard. Unfortunately, Alex thinks they're just high and steps out of the patrol car, surprising them that nothing is happening. After that, Alex approaches Gilbert and tries to help him, but the big guy is just too heavy. Then, Alex checks on Ronnie and Shanda but doesn't really exert an effort to help them. Meanwhile, Mitch thinks Alex is safe because of his shoes, but the patrolman doesn't believe them when they say the sand ate two of their friends. Now pissed, Alex orders Mitch and Kaylee to come down from the shack, but the two refuse, causing the patrolman to reach for his pepper spray. However, Alex drops his keys and he immediately gets stuck in the sand when he tries to pick them up. Alex then uses the pepper spray to free himself, only to get his arm severed. Unfortunately, it isn't long before the creature in the sand devours and pulls Alex down, but Kaylee manages to get his pepper spray. Running out of options, Mitch wears slippers and plans to cover his feet with towels, which he'll soak in pepper spray before running to the car. Unfortunately, Mitch falls from the shack when he tries to catch the second towel from Shanda, and the creature in the sand quickly feasts on his body. Meanwhile, the others cry as they fail to do anything for Mitch. After that, Kaylee notices the railing that fell on the sand and orders Shanda to get on the hood of the car. Kaylee then instructs Shanda to grab the railing and gives her another one before tossing her the towels. With no time to waste, Kaylee jumps onto the car and punches Shanda for sleeping with Jonah. However, Shanda doesn't fight back and just listens as she talks to Jonah, who apologizes for his mistake. Seconds later, Kaylee tells Gilbert to turn around and face them so he can see what's happening. Then, Kaylee and Shanda help Ronnie free her fingers and immediately tend to her wound. On the other hand, Gilbert finally manages to turn around despite being in pain, but unfortunately, he fails to notice that his blood is attracting the creature in the sand. The girls try to catch their breath, and that's when Shanda tells Kaylee she's perfect for Jonah, showing that she regrets ruining their relationship. However, they don't really have time to talk about that, so Kaylee tells Shanda about her plan to get to the fire pit, get Jonah, and build a bridge from there to the patrol car. Using the railings, Kaylee and Shanda build a bridge, and Shanda says nothing happened between her and Jonah. Then, Shanda finally reaches Jonah and tells Kaylee to get over there fast, but Kaylee lets Ronnie go first. However, Ronnie points out that she's bleeding too much, so Kaylee ends up walking across the bridge before her. Meanwhile, Gilbert realizes he's bleeding because of a wound in his stomach. Slowly but surely, Kaylee walks across the bridge and reaches Jonah, who asks her not to leave him. On the other hand, Ronnie starts crossing too, but she gets distracted by her blood dripping. Knowing that Ronnie will fall, Kaylee immediately uses the pepper spray on the sand before her friend lands on it. At first, Ronnie thinks she's okay, but Kaylee fails to save her when she quickly gets pulled under the sand. Desperate to leave, Shanda follows Mitch's plan and wraps a towel and bag around her feet. Meanwhile, the creature in the sand tries to get inside the waste container. Shanda then runs to the patrol car and immediately gets on the hood, making them all happy. Unfortunately, the creature attacks Gilbert from inside the waste container and pulls him under the sand revealing that it now has large tentacles. At the same time, the creature tries to knock the car over, causing Shanda to lose her balance and pass out on the hood. That night, Shanda finally regains consciousness and tells Kaylee she's okay. She then finds a raft on the car top and drops it on the sand, causing it to inflate. After that, Shanda and Kaylee help Jonah cross the ashes from the bonfire and the raft until he gets inside the car. Unfortunately, the whole area suddenly shakes, causing Kaylee to fall into the raft. Then, a glowing and large tentacle comes out of the sand and attempts to attack Kaylee, so she quickly gets on top of the car. There, she tries to reach for the gas container, but the tentacle knocks it out of her hand. However, Kaylee doesn't give up and takes the other one, quickly pouring out its contents on the sand. 
Wasting no time, Kaylee uses the matches in her pocket to set the tentacle on fire and immediately goes inside the car, but the creature is relentless and still tries to get to them. Moments later, the creature finally leaves, and that's when Kaylee and Shanda realize that Jonah is already dead. Then, the next day, a man finds Kaylee and Shanda inside the car and asks if they're okay, but the girls just leave since the creature is already gone. However, the creature left a crater around the lifeguard shack and the patrol car, and it isn't long before it is revealed to be a giant jellyfish, which is now headed toward another beach. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.